Howdy! Welcome back to the Big Blue Workshop. I thought I would show you a snapshot of the Indian Princess trailer that we built for my daughter's tribe. Uh, this is a 12 foot uh, mossy oak trailer that we purchased from uh, Waco Bills Trailer Company in Terrell, Texas. Uh, the big thing we liked about it, it was steel frame, it had a steel structure in it. Uh, with an aluminum skin. It was pretty tough and it has a front side door that made it easier for us to get in and out of the trailer. The big fun part about it was you could pull it with just about any vehicle. So it's lightweight. Uh, flip side is that skin that's on the inside was a little bit fragile and uh, we had to be careful with it as we were uh, loading it or unloading. First crack out of the box, flat tire on the way home. Got it fixed and on I went. We decided to do our own logos with just good old fashioned shaker cans and blue tape. I shot the logo onto the side of the trailer with a projector, traced it out, taped it off and went one color at a time. My daughter kind of helped out with the tape removal process, but as you can see, uh, we just uh, took it slow and took it easy and we painted the red, the blue, and the white and then we outlined each section with a black basically paint pen was what we used and once we got it all done we shot uh, clear coat on top of it to protect it and uh, keep the sun from fading it quite so fast uh, the paint job looked good once we were done I'm sure a professional would have his criticisms for the first camp out, we actually just stuck everything in the trailer and took it with us. We immediately realized we were going to need shelving, so I started off with a 2x2 two two frame and uh, actually screwed it into the metal structure of the trailer, and I just used OSB for the shelving material. Then I trimmed it with 1x4s so that stuff wouldn't slide off the shelves as the trailer was traveling. We took a gray paint that was a deck paint and sprayed it through the entire interior of the trailer and it turned out pretty good once we were done. We, we built each bay uh, to fit Rubbermaid tubs and propane tanks and then we put all of our tribe specific gear on each shelf so it was custom built for what we needed. We used the other side for games that we had made and strapped them all in with ratchet tie down straps. We even mounted our tribe uh, banner in the front of the trailer with its own spot. You can see here how the girls use that at their uh, campfires and things. We put all the nation policies and the park maps on the back door. And on the other side, we put a list of all the dads that donated so we could buy the trailer. Uh, once it packed up, it traveled pretty good, but we still needed a kitchen. So I ended up building an outdoor cupboard, basically, that was able to be just clamped down to a picnic table. It would spread uh, into a serving tray on the bottom and then a shade on the top. And it had paper towel rolls and spots for forks, spoons, knives, plates, uh, condiments, everything you needed uh, for a camp out for 39 families. Uh, we called it the Tejas Grill since they were the Tejas tribe. Uh, you can kind of see the finished product here and then of course at a camp out with my daughter uh, at uh, Ray Roberts. Overall the trailer serves the tribe well and uh, it seems to travel pretty well. Nothing falls off the shelves so we're excited about it. If you like this subscribe and like and come back and see us again.